Identity theft continues to be one of the top methods used to rip you off. Thieves can do it in a number of ways, and one of the easiest is stealing mail from your mailbox. Often, these con men are feeding a drug habit. Troubleshooter Howard Ain has the story of a man who stole thousands of dollars this way. Now he's turned his life around, and he wants to give you advice to protect yourself from people like him. Dallas Tedford was just like most of us. He worked hard and never committed a crime. But then an addiction to drugs turned his world upside down. Well, I was a full-fledged meth addict for about 16 years. Dallas says this drug addiction cost him almost $1,000 a week, so he turned to a life of crime. We went around to the richer neighborhoods and we stole the United States Postal Mail out of the mailbox, gathering information, gathering intelligence. Specifically, personal checks. The flag up indicated that there was outgoing mail, which is usually a check to pay a a phone bill, a check to pay the electricity, a check to pay a car payment. Those checks hold a wealth of personal information. You have access, a welcome to the bank account, which you could alter the numbers on it. You could reprint your own checks. They would have their friends open up accounts and then have them deposit checks to those accounts, withdraw as much money as they could the first or second day until the bank caught on to the fraud. They also learned how to exploit depositing checks from your smartphone. The thing about uh, using a smartphone, you don't need magnetic ink to be able to go into a bank and cash it. You just use everything from your smartphone and be able to deposit it right there sitting at your home without ever stepping foot in a bank. 1,000 victims lost more than $70,000. Dallas admits his drug problem helped him justify his actions. He felt the banks were the only victim. They were going to report it as fraud. They were never going to lose no money and everything at the end of the day, everybody's happy. I get my money. They don't lose nothing. Postal inspectors say this is not true. ID theft can take consumers years to clean up. And in the meantime, your credit is in limbo. So prevention is key. Preferably use collection boxes at a post office. Once caught, Dallas admitted to his crimes, went to prison, and has been clean for three years. If I didn't commit those crimes, I would have been out there still using methamphetamines. I don't know if I would be dead. I don't know what kind of life I would be living right now, but by me going to prison, it saved my life. A judge sentenced Tedford to more than four years in prison for ID theft and mail fraud. He's now in the process of trying to pay $70,000 in restitution. Bottom line, to protect yourself when mailing a check, don't put it in your mailbox. Instead, always use a post office mailbox. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.